Hey, I'm going to try to show you a really quick way to get your Rock Band drum kits to work with your computer and so you don't get a bunch of latency and stuff like that like a lot of other people have complained about on YouTube and other websites. First thing that you will have to do, and this is going to be really fast, but I will try to answer some of your questions on your comment if you leave comments with me. You will have to download a few pieces of software are needed first. There is ASO for All. That will be your new sound driver. Google it, find it, download it. MIDI Yoke, download it, Google it, find it. E-Trigger, it's shareware. Google it, download it, and then you can just set back your calendar or you can uninstall, reinstall. And of course, Reason or Cubase or something like that. So, very brief. Here's E-Trigger when it comes up. You will set your drums. You will set them if you look under the devices and I go to Game Devices. It shows both of my Rock Band drum kits. So it's, they're there right now. So I just set them up and labeled them, bass left, bass right, because I have a double bass set. And if you look, I will grab this thing, this drumstick, and it's kind of hard to see, but you see how that green stuff's coming up? That means that you're getting a signal. If you're not getting a signal through and those green things aren't, light, ain't, aren't lighting up, then don't go any further. Figure out what the fuck's wrong. Make sure both your device dealies are working, and, uh, and then it should work. After that, you will have Reason open. A couple things you need to do in Reason to make sure of. Go into Edit. Go into Preferences. Make sure that when you are in your Audio tab, it says ASO for All. ASO for All. Remember, you've got to install that thing. Don't pick your regular sound driver, Realtek. Creative Labs, it doesn't fucking matter. Don't pick none of that shit. It's not designed for this. ASO for all is. So if you go to Advanced, you'll see just put all those banks to MIDI Yoke 1. Don't ask me why. I have no fucking idea. It just seems to work that way, and it works well. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So now we have all of that going on. That's your software part. We'll go over to the drum kit itself. Like I said, I have two, I've got a double bass setup, so I have two rack band drum kits, and they're kind of laying on top of one another for easy access. They're Xbox versions, so they have the USB uh, plug, and make sure your computer has a USB 2.0 port and not a 1.1 or whatever it is, because it, they will definitely lag then. So, if you set all this up and you got your little black pedals that came with it and shit and you rock it out on it and everything's great for about a month and then one day you're playing and snap, the little fucking bastard snapped on you. Well, there is a way that you can still use them. There is life beyond those little black pedals. You rip the little black pedals apart and you will find two little magnetic triggers in them. There is a trigger here and there is a trigger here. I put a piece of plexiglass in. I put the triggers behind the plexiglass. I put some foam on the outside because the magnets that are in these are some super fucking powerful neodymium magnets. They don't fuck around. And so they're very, uh, they'll double trigger very easily. So here's my regular chain drive setup. Yeah, all you fuckers can flame me and tell me how ghetto my drum pedals are, but you know what? This whole fucking setup cost me nothing. So. My mallets are in kind of bad shape. They were old garage sale ones that I had picked up, these uh, kick pedals, so I had to glue it so the mallets wouldn't spin. Basically what I did, I just carved a circle out of the front of the mallet. I inserted the uh, magnet, glued it in, and then taped it. I did it to both of them. Make sure that you put this sensor vertically. Uh, I don't, horizontally just doesn't seem like it's working very well. Um, this is the first version that I've tried. My uh, my pedal seems to double trigger sometimes, and that's because there's too much of a magnetic pull. I need more of this tape. I ran out of it, so I might actually have to spend the five bucks. So anyhow, when you have all this shit set up, as you can see, it works along with the kicks. Now, people might say, oh, well, I can download that little thing off the Internet that will let you do the same thing. Yeah, that thing's a laggy piece of shit. If you play any kind of aggressive music or anything like that, that uh, 
that little fucking program is going to choke out. Um, so I am by no means an extremely experienced drummer or anything like that. I just like to fuck around. I like having a kit that I can fuck around with anytime, day or night. And I really don't have the room in here for an analog kit. So this is actually working really well. So hopefully my drums won't double trigger too bad or drop out because my one mallet is still spinning a little bit. Uh, like I said, there still has to be a few upgrades. But this is a start for people that want to build one of these. So I'll just show you. If you're playing a slow beat, you know, it works. Oh. If you're playing a slow beat, it works fine. That seems to work fine. If you're doing more of a punk beat, that seems to work fine. I haven't had many problems with. The only problems I have, and it's not with the software, it's just with this fucking magnet double triggering every once in a while, is when you're trying to kick it down into some double bass, trying to do some like aggressive type of metal. Um, so hopefully it won't double trigger too bad or drop out. Like I said, this mallet keeps on spinning, so we'll give it a little try. So basically, towards the end, it kind of cut out. And like I said, it's because this mallet's spinning. When this mallet doesn't spin, it works a lot better. So it's all uh, it's all a work in process, but it's definitely it's definitely getting there. So there you have it, guys. Like I said, you can flame on my drum playing all you want. I don't really care. I'm not much of an experienced drummer, but I do like fucking around with it. And uh, if you can find these uh, these guitar things at uh, garage sales or GameStop or whatever, and you're a musician and want to actually be able to fuck with them instead of driving your roommates or parents or neighbors crazy with an analog kit, it's definitely uh, worth the what hour and a half that I had to put into it to retrofit everything uh, to have a decent um, a decent pair of practice pants. So uh, feel free and share this video, comment on it, um, and check out my other videos that are on as well. Uh, some of them are, you know, instructional, and some of them are just uh, in bands that I played or whatever. So have fun with the guys, and if anybody has a a better way of doing this, more efficient one. I would be more than willing to watch a video that you guys have made so that I can make my drums better as well. Um, because hopefully here in the next, say, couple weeks, I'm going to try to have a version 2 and revamp how I'm doing my triggers. But for someone that's Jones and, and I was Jones to play drums after my little black pedals broke, um, I was kind of forced to use these. So at any rate, uh, have fun, guys, and happy drums.